As the city council debates a psionic registry, some residents feel they are out of touch. Recent disappearances of hybrid citizens have left their families in disarray. She wouldn't have just left like this. Someone took her. They must have. Commissioner Maloof issued an official response. 301 PD is actively looking into these missing persons. This matter is our top priority. This is Celio Dash with Channel 37. All right, welcome back to the channel. I'm King of Baden. Today's video, we're back with X Time Chimera Squad. Uh, I woke up feeling like recording again. Also, I saw some more information about that uh, Marvel game I've been talking about in the last few videos. Uh, they say, so compared to XCOM, and XCOM, most of their games are like, you are just a ragtag team of people trying to stop an alien invasion for the most part. So usually you're the one fighting to survive, basically. So like, it's a, it's a free for all. You're, the, you're weak and you're just trying to survive in the Marvel game since you're playing as superheroes they changed the narrative a little bit and instead of you um instead of you being there looking for or not looking for but like just fighting to survive you're doing like waves and you're just trying to see how many people you can take out at once it's the way they describe it we'll probably see more about that when i start playing the game or when the game comes closer to coming out but that also is just an interesting difference to the games do i have one of these i had a feeling i did and I talked about it last time, I still didn't check it, but we'll give him that now. Since he's probably going to be on the team the most with the submachine gun. So we have all exotic weapons, which I don't think we managed to get to that much in the last uh, playthrough. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and do this mission. The Liberate R&D Firm. Let me make sure I have everything else running like I wanted to. She's in her training. They're still doing Spec Ops, and she's doing the... The research it's almost done now i can't get improved assembly before i go on to the master crafted other stuff too but i don't think that matters right now uh everyone's kitted out already because it's the same team as last time so let's just go, let's just go straight into it Progeny infiltrated this cutting-edge tech firm, and we're not sure why. I thought you were an intelligent human man. Am I wrong? Okay, laugh it up. Yeah, I deserved it. Um, that makes sense. His job is to get the information, and he says he doesn't know. That's going to be a problem for the people who have to run in off of the information that he has. He's a... What do you have? You have a Muddy Patch. I do need to get more hollow scanners to get Patchwork back on the team because those scans were pretty useful. Let's we'll start with the ceasefire bomb though. Throwing grenade. Someone was immune to it. I don't think they have a weapon though is why. Yeah, these two don't have weapons. They use only psionics. Let's go for a 75. There's no point in trying to go for that low chance with this higher one in front of us. You have a better chance to hit them. And you got a crit. Damn, he's the only one who's going to have that good of a shot on them, isn't he? You have a 64 here. Both can use Dazzle. Yeah, let's use Dazzle on the Acolyte that's going to be doing whatever it's trying to do. That way it's disorientated, which means it's going to have a lower chance of hitting. It didn't matter. But it's still going to be disorientated for the start of its turn, and a few other people are also going to be. And he's panicked. Anyone else panicked? Take him out? Nah, okay. activated something that increases the sonic damage which is not good for us they, most of them are doing sonic damage with all these acolytes and sorcerers that's just one of the things that they get for being the last some? people that we investigated <laughs> Ready for action. which isn't i don't think that's too bad i think the thralls having more health Why is more of an issue than the there being more oh, sorcerers yeah. and acolytes Pumped up. A 
57% chance to hit this one. Why do you have such a low chance? Over. Didn't matter. We're getting a lot of unconscious unconscious hits now too. I just use subdue on you. Yeah, it's just use subdue. It's guaranteed to hit. It's gonna take him out anyways, and we can take them back as a hostage and get bonus intel. Now you from here, who can you see? Let's go with dead eye first. Then we'll get lightning hands. Can we see the number six dude? We have a small chance to hit. Cool. And this is the last thing that I can do on his turn, and I want to move him up here. This is gonna free this uh civilian too. And it's also gonna put him in Overwatch. Go, you're safe. Go. Which I assume gave him a better shot on them. That's what I was hoping for. Alright, don't use sticky grenade first. Shrapnel bomb goes off. Goes off before this person. I'll blow it up if we're ready. And Drop an acid grenade on them. Throwing grenade. Hopefully, it doesn't spread to that civilian. It shouldn't because it didn't tell me that it was going to do damage to them. Drop the oh. target. Less danger for us. And we'll put, use a sticky grenade on them, even though they're already disoriented and panicked. No, they're just panicked, not disoriented. But still, just so then I send it full health. Uh, yeah, they still lose that turn too, so that's good. Who's this chain shot? Take a shot with an aim penalty of 15%. If you hit the target, you take another shot on the target automatically. All right. We can just shoot 56. You use soul fire. Yeah, we use, we'll use soul fire just to end this thing. That also looks pretty cool. Surgical. It's talking about his four damage calling it surgical. Let's talk about patchwork like she wasn't doing shit. Heads up. 3 1 PD spotted a codex, and it's somewhere on the premises. Although, I guess technically she wasn't doing too much. Since she just sent her drone to do everything. Praising me through this entrance does plus the damage during the breach. We can't get here anyways, can we? All right, I hit my whole mic stand this time, not even just the mic. I don't know if it's going to come through though, because I have a whole bunch of stuff now that's su supposed to prevent it from coming through we'll save that uh that hollow scan for later Keep behind me. his rage is pretty high right now too so we might be able to panic quite a few enemies i know the chances go up with the higher his rage is go for the thrall you're teleporting around still the work though doesn't matter Use the land shot on this thrall. Cool. So now we can just shoot at whatever we want to. We have a hundred percent chance on both of these people. One's an acolyte. They're both acolytes. I'll go for the alert one. Because they're still gonna do something on during, during the breach point. I don't wanna use both of them to go there. Cool. That was a pretty good breach entrance for us. We didn't, I don't, well, did we miss any shots? I don't think we missed our shots, but we still did quite a bit of damage. And they're only left with three units now. And they're trying to take a hostage. Can we use smash on the number two person? Let's go ahead and try smash on the number two person. This puts us in the middle of the en enemy's, of enemy's lines. And it looks like he's gonna berserk after this too. You got another unconscious hit immediately. Yeah, Axiom's starting to clean up now. He's really getting uh honing in with this rage stuff. Dead eye? 74%. Gotcha. It looks like he's been shooting through walls this entire ooh. This entire mission. We're cleaning up this time. Yeah, they're doing way better than they were before. These last few episodes. The tech firm says their equipment could be used to refactor a codex, whatever that means. 
It means we need to stop whatever's happening inside. Ready? Yeah, they've been doing way better. They're doing way better in this mission than have in the last few. Messing with this entrance, receiving action, extra action, uh, a shelter scan, blue blood, extra action to Claymore. Yeah, I think so. Follow me. We didn't even have to use this grenade in the second one. We really breached and then shot twice. Because Axiom took out two of them on his turn, and Blue Blood just had to shoot once because he got that crit. 73% chance. Cool. And Dazzle is only once per mission. I didn't know it was if it was or wasn't because I know her poison spit from Torque isn't a uh, once per mission type of thing. He landed that. Go ahead and use land shot and take them out. That thrall is out in the open, so it should be an easy shot. Or not. Why is it? The weapons range and low cover. I didn't know he had low cover. Alright. Still landed it and killed. Alright. And went from missing 99 to 11, landing 57. Keep the progeny away from that machine. Can we have, like, breached into that room then? Gonna put an explosive on the wall or something because everybody's in there. He's going for it, and a dude who's right next to it is going for it. You psych up first, Who wants some? and you can use smash on them. I think is that what I want to do? I don't want to use running gun, get in here. And then shoot at them and take them out. That might be better because I'd have a chance to get a crit if I get right up in his face. So I'm gonna go for that. For you. And if I use land shot from a certain angle, I might be able to get the the five and the seven. And the seven's one of the people I have to hit. So I'm gonna use team up on blue blood first. I have running gun active. So now you can dash into where's a good spot to dash you to I'll dash you to right here. I guess this door open too, so we can just shoot through it also if we wanted to. And if I use subdue, will it kill? No. So I'll just go for a shot. 33% chance to kill. I don't know why it's minus 30 because of his defense. I guess he's hunkered down. Still didn't matter. And let's see, do I have to move from this spot to get this good land shot off? No, I don't. I could just start with the land shot. That's really all I wanted him to do on his turn. And it's gonna hit both the five and the four, the four and the five. I wanted to hit the five because he's one of the ones going for it. And he's gonna be the second one hits so and it's gonna, who is in the way? Uh, shit, I might have to shoot shelter, honestly. Actually, I'll just move over to here. Headed this way. Watch for hostiles. Yeah, okay, I still have the angle. Cool. For a second, I would have shot shelter. If we weren't sitting at a, um, a perfect mission right now, I might have shot him anyways. Although it's looking like it's gonna be over no matter what. Uh, not what I wanted to do today. That's fine. You should be fine at least. Can you teleport with any of these enemies? Um see what most Highland do to blue blood. Right. It says, Blue Blood takes a shot and does not end at turn if used his first action. Go for this shot here. I think if we land it, it's going to kill, right? I don't know why he's doing his hand like he has a different gun or something. All right, they're taken out. And you can move into here. Stepping out. 
And that's going to put you in Overwatch also for anything that's moving around in there. Move you into right here. Heading over. So now when this number two dude tries to back up or anything like that, we'll take a shot at him. So it's 66% or 61% chance here. Go for chain shot on nope. That chance is pretty low. Go for soul fire though on the number. If I use it on number three, they're gonna die anyways. If I use it on anybody else, they're gonna be pushed down in the turn order. I'm expecting number three to die from his overwatch shot, Delaying so I'll go for the, the number two to die from overwatch shot, so I'll go for the number three. Right. Stop the hostile. Yeah, I thought he was gonna get shot in the back. So I just wanted to leave that open as it was. Uh, you can't see a thing from here, I bet. Yeah, you're all the way out of position, so that's really gonna be a problem. Like I could go for I can't even get a grenade in there, can I? You can't get anywhere else from here. I'll just put I you in cover right that. here and hope they don't come Got all the way back. around and turn this corner. Uh, and he's not the unit going for that thing yet, so it doesn't matter. Keep wasting your effort. Now he is, but that's too late for it to be an issue. Axiom can't make it all the way up there. We've already used our motel and do so though. Move Axiom up to here. Use Psycho and then put him into Overwatch over this range. Uh, clear the, 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 the. We're just trying to prevent them from getting to this codex. Lightning hands lets me take this shot for free. Is that a resonant? No, it's just a civilian. Oh, I was just being sure. You use dead eye. Think fast. Cool. Take it. Now, do we have to defend this area? No. I didn't even know Axiom took damage. I guess he healed it by himself. Uh, Codex Research Protected. Had the progeny restored their pet Codex, they'd have had creepy sonic eyes all over City 31. This is the only shop in town that could have helped them. So their Codex is out of luck. Cool. And we got five cabbage, so we got 20 intel. An extra 20 intel. to create dozens of lesser duplicates. Though much weaker and incapable of sustaining existence, these echoes could theoretically allow you a greater reach with fewer resources. Doing so will diminish the primary overtime for the inherent imbalance is anathema to a functioning codex. Detainee 31B sec AH 438X80 2036 August 18. Cool. Oh, I ended up went up by one. Nicely done. The progeny's pet codex is effectively offline. Okay, cool. So that means we shouldn't have to deal with any codex now, right? Like in this playthrough. This last time we did have to deal with codex because that was the dark event we chose. That makes sense. They shouldn't be forced to live in pain for other people's comfort. Uh, this barrage effect, I forgot that this was the last one. Not that great. Just trying to bomb a sticky grenade, do plus one damage, and do not automatically end the turn. I guess that'll be helpful for when I accidentally use sticky bomb first, but still. Um, he's still on the team for now, though, so. 
Progeny communication is almost entirely psionic. On occasion, they use conventional means. Recent chatter has had frequent mentions of Archons. See if you can learn why. Okay, I know what an Archon is. Those are those floating things from last time. But, based on what's sitting here, I don't think we have time to do another thing. That's when it should up by three. I probably should pull this district down next time. Oh, yeah, that's why I went over. But, anyways, this is going to be all for this video. Thanks for watching. Uh, Don't forget to follow my other socials in the description down below. Thanks for, ooh. Then we have two free items, don't we? Thanks for watching, and I'll see y'all next time. I'll probably get the laser sight and the superior expanded magazine. That's gonna go to this is gonna go to blue blood, probably. And then I don't know who I'm gonna give this to. Probably just gonna get it just because I need it more than because I have someone in mind for it. And then we have a thousand credits now, so we don't need to worry about getting any money for a little bit. Yeah, we haven't unlocked anything new, so. And the master, I don't even know what it gives us. New supply item, master crafted armor upgrade. I guess it just gives them, well, I think that gives them plus one armor for everybody, no matter what. Mm. That's all though. I'm still, I'm just adding stuff to the end. Bye. Bye.